Hello and welcome to the Comlex Instant Review. Which of the following statements about prosthetic valve endocarditis is true? The incidence of prosthetic valve endocarditis is approximately 1% with a subsequent mortality of 10%. Active endocarditis precludes the valve replacement because the risk of endocarditis is prohibitive. The valve leaflet is almost always the primary site of infection or staphylococcal species are the most common causative organism in both early and late endocarditis. And the hemodynamic alterations seen may involve valvular obstruction or regurgitation. The answer here is going to be E. Infective prosthetic valve endocarditis is divided into early and late complications. The incidence of both early and late prosthetic valve endocarditis is about 1 to 2 percent. However, the mortality is high, about 72 percent for early prosthetic valve endocarditis and 45 percent for late prosthetic valve endocarditis. Replacement of a prosthetic valve in a setting of active endocarditis of the native heart valve increases the risk of subsequent endocarditis to only 4 percent, although the operative mortality is increased 10 to 20 percent. So the pathological focus of the valve infection is the valve seat, not the leaflets, leading to paravalvular leaks and even dehiscence. The leaflets may also be involved and this may lead to either regurgitation or stenosis. Early PVE is most often caused by staphylococcal species while late PVE is most often caused by streptococcal species. So the answer here is going to be the hemodynamic alterations seen may involve valvular obstruction or regurgitation as we just mentioned. Thank you for listening and good luck in your complex board preparation.